Sam's journey just isn't emotional, it's intellectual. And now the conversation pivots. This next moment marks the transition from values to voltage, from personal grounding to the physical system that powers our lives. Because behind every EV battery and every grid update, there is a set of trade-offs and a deep well of design decisions most people never see. Let's nerd out. If you don't mind, I have to nerd out with you for a minute about yeah. battery tech, okay? Yeah. So yeah. what are some of the most exciting battery chemistries being explored right now? Battery technology, it's incredible what's happening. We're, we're gonna, there's gonna be an explosion, isn't there, of, of, of the next 10 years. It's gonna be absolutely insane. And which ones will win, which ones won't? It's gonna be fascinating. What are, what are you looking at? I live, I live in, the, in Michigan, which is a cold climate. And what's really taking my interest are batteries that are going to work with me in the minus 20 degree Fahrenheit zones that I like to go to. And so the combination of these hybrid battery techs where there's you know a, a little bit of traditional lithium and then some other ones that handle that cold better. And then the, the, even the blade batteries that are out there, the energy density, the rapidly charging ones that, that, that kind of have more. Yep. When you say blade batteries, I think people need to recognize the fact that it's not just BYD that makes blade batteries. It's their marketing terminology, the word blade, but the reality is that there's now numerous manufacturers that make thin blade batteries, essentially. You could call a blade battery, which is probably technologically more advanced than BYD's blade battery, or at least their existing battery used in 99% of their cars. Now, of course, the new blade battery is a, a different story. It's much, much more technologically advanced, but there's two different ones. Um, I'm sure you're aware of this. There's the higher energy density blade battery, which is not yet in any BYD cars, and is meant to be coming. And then there's the existing uh, new blade battery in the BYD Tang and the BYD Han. And that has an energy density, I think approximately about 185 watt hours per kilogram, a bit under rivals like Geely at 192 watt hours per kilogram. And then of course you've got uh, lithium ion phosphate batteries from Cadle that are about 205 watt hours per kilogram. But the key difference of course is with that blade battery from BYD in the Tang and the Han, can charge at 1000 kilowatt. And I think they've enabled that by cutting the battery in half, which is what Geely have done with their golden blade battery. So the golden the golden brick battery, whatever you want to call it, their golden battery, that is half the length of a BYD blade battery. So they're kind of like um, short blade batteries. And that's that's kind of the uncomplicated way to explain that that's the, the fast charging version of the blade battery, shortening the